In this video, we'll explain how to calculate the computed altitude, abbreviated HC, on the site reduction form. First, we find our tabulated HC and D by looking in publication 229. These books contain the site reduction tables that do all the spherical trig calculations for you. Each book covers 15 degrees of latitude, and use only whole degrees. If they also included fractions of degrees, the tables would be too large to be practical. Turn to the page for your local hour angle, abbreviated LHA. These pages are divided into two sections, contrary and same. To determine which side of the page you use, remember, in section 3 for assumed latitude, you chose same or contrary. In our example, our LHA from section 3 was 323 degrees. Our assumed latitude was 30 degrees north, and we circled contrary. Ignoring for now the minutes, our declination was 23 degrees south. So in publication 229, we turn to the page for an LHA of 323 degrees. Notice an LHA of 37 degrees gives the same values, which makes sense when you consider that the sum of these two values is 360 degrees. As we marked contrary in section 3, we'll use the top half of this page. We had an assumed latitude of 30 degrees, so we use this column. With a declination of 23 degrees, we see our tabulated HC is 26 degrees and 11.2 arc minutes while our D is minus 49 arc minutes. We note these values on the site reduction form. Now, we need to calculate our declination increment, which accounts for the declination minutes we ignored earlier. We will need to take the minutes and divide them by 60 arc minutes, then multiply that number by the D value we just obtained to calculate our declination increment. In our example, our declination minutes were 23 arc minutes. With a D value of negative 49 arc minutes, we do the math to calculate our declination increment. Dividing our declination minutes by 60, this gives us 0 0.383 rounded to the nearest three decimals. Multiplying this value by our D, we get negative 18.767 arc minutes, which we round to the nearest tenth. We note this on the site reduction form. Now we simply sum these two terms to get the computed altitude, abbreviated HC, remembering to subtract if we have a negative value. In our example, we see this gives us a computed altitude of 25 degrees and 52.2 arc minutes. This concludes our video on computed altitude. To test your understanding of what we covered in this video, click this link. It'll take you to a few questions designed to help you remember these concepts. Once you are comfortable with this material, you can move on to our next video on Altitude Intercept by clicking this link.